Yeah, good morning, Tony. It really seems like every day we're getting an alert that another car has hit a pedestrian. Memorials like these ghost shoes here at the corner of Veers Mill Road and Ferrara Avenue honor the people who lost their lives in those crashes. Now, as you mentioned, one Alexandria family hopes that their story helps to inspire change. Time speeds on. The Dehim Bizadi still feels the loss with every step. Oh, that brings a lot of memories. I mean, this is uh, the last birthday of my father that we celebrated. Yeah, he would go for a walk every afternoon with my mom, hand in hand, just walking. Yeah. In 2017, a car hit both of her parents at this Alexandria intersection, killing her father, Habibullah Bizadi. Her mom survived. He had fractures all over. He was just uh, lost. Just last month, another man was hit and killed in Alexandria. So as crashes claim more lives by the day, she's advocating for new laws to protect pedestrians and safety measures like this warning lights button. While activist Peter Gray wants to see cars slow down, he's pushing leaders to speed up safety changes. The bottom line is the culture has to shift within the transportation agencies from how do we get the most cars through an intersection to how do we make these intersections safe for everybody who uses them. He's with Montgomery County Families for Safe Streets. The county data shows cars have crashed into about 200 pedestrians so far this year, killing at least five. A lot more has to be done. To make walking hand in hand safer. He was healthy and active and uh, I, I really miss him.